Hey everybody, I just want to share this vision that God has given me and um, I normally don't share these things um, but the Holy Spirit is saying, hey, you have to step out in faith. You have to tell people this one. So I'm just going to tell you everything I saw and then I'll break out, break down what everything meant. So about 10 feet away from me, a man, he was sitting on a bench and this woman comes and she sits right next to him. Um, when everything started, I already knew that they were at a wedding. Um... So she sits next down, or she sits next to him, and she looks at him, and they start looking at each other. And he, she says, "Hey, sometimes at weddings, people announce that they're gonna get married. Should we do this?" He looks at her, not rude, not mean. He just looks at her and says, "No," just says it softly. She gets up, and she storms off like an immature child would do when the child doesn't get its way, like an immature child. And then after that, he. Uh, he gets a wine glass and he's spinning it in his hand and he's looking at the wine glass empty and he says, I am coming. I am coming so soon. And then that was it. I woke up and as this vision is happening, I already understood majority of the symbolism, what everything was symbolizing. Um, if you read your Bible, you understand that, you know, husband and wife are symbolic for Jesus and the church. And the guy in the vision, he was white and he had brown curly hair, just like a Jew. The soon-to-be bride, that symbolizes the church. And this is what the whole message was about, what God laid on my heart. He's basically saying that the church thinks she is ready to be married to the Lord, but she isn't. Do you hear me, church? God literally gave me a vision and said that the church is not ready for the Lord's return. Do you hear me? Gives me goosebumps just saying this. But after that, after she storms off, he picks up. The wine glass, the empty wine glass. And immediately I already knew that that was symbolic for the world. He had the world in his hand and he was looking through a glass at the world as it spins. And then this morning it just psh, came to me. Holy Spirit laid it on my heart. He said, remember Revelation 4 where the 24 elders and God the Father sit on a glass looking down upon the world. And I was like, wow. That is amazing. Um, and of course, you know, Jesus says he is coming. He is coming so soon. And I truly believe that this is going to happen in our lifetime. In our lifetime. So church, I just hope that you are ready. And um, I just want to end, end with a prayer. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to pray for all the lukewarm Christians all the backsliding Christians, Lord, I pray that a fire will be started in them, a new fire, and that they would come back to their first love. Father, you have put us as a light on a hill to shine for the world to see. You have called us out of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Father, I pray that we impact the world and not let the world impact us through the lust and the desires of the flesh. Father, I just pray that you have mercy on all the brothers and sisters. And I lift up Afghanistan for those who died in their faith. May their reward be great. I just love y'all. In Jesus' name, I pray. Continue to seek them because there isn't much time. Love y'all. Bye.